Hello everyone and welcome back to the very, very longly anticipated, for me at least, start of a series on the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Um, first and foremost, in my update video I did a couple weeks ago, I said that I would have videos of this out starting uh, two weeks ago. That changed because the, um, the Thursday before the weekend when I was going to record, I got the news that my grandfather had passed away. Um, I spent my birthday on Saturday driving up to his, driving out to Ohio to his house to uh, attend the services, the funeral, etc. Drove home Tuesday, got home Tuesday night, started preparing for my vacation that I mentioned, which was two days afterwards. Spent Wednesday getting the rest of my preparations done, getting everything checked, double checked, because there wouldn't really be any time to get anything fixed since I didn't have the time of the weekend that I planned to have um and so I just did not have the chance to record um I do apologize that I did not get the videos out when I said I would but obviously that was kind of a situation that very much demanded my attention more than getting videos out um regardless uh, <laughs> we are back now and we're going to be jumping into Isaac. I should add, I have not touched this game in about 10 days on the PC. I've played a little bit of Vita on the plane flights I had. But in terms of PC, I have not touched it in a while. However, I should also add that as a whole, I also have around... Uh, probably approaching 100 hours in the game total already. So, between the two versions. So I have a lot unlocked, I have a lot done. Um, right now I'm just going to do a challenge and we're going to see what we can try to get done. Um, just as kind of a way to get into... Actually, no, 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 I'm, I'm not going to do a challenge. I'm just going to play as Isaac uh, with the D6. We're going to do a nice simple run to get things underway here. Um, but yeah, uh, this... I mean, we aren't going to be having all of our progress on camera. I could start another save for the Let's Play, but at the same time... Mm, I don't want to use that. They can teleport me to the I Am Air room. I would lose my D6 on the first floor. Um, and Undefined, it can be useful, but much like Dead Sea Scrolls, it can also be very much not useful. Um, it is a rather random item. If it was Missing No, I would be glad to take it because Missing No allows for some crazy, crazy shenanigans on a run. Um, but Undefined, not quite so much. But anyway, um, you know, I would start a new, a new save for the Let's Play. But I think to do so would be almost doing a disservice to my uh, motivation I guess I could say in that perfect in that um by doing it that way I would have to have a file that was nowhere near the progression and having to try to double up everything on a game that takes this long to unlock everything in would be a little bit tough um, if you guys are very interested in that, I could try to switch things over and start doing things that way. I just think that it would be a little bit easier to do things. That was a total waste of a bomb, and I can't believe I've taken this many hits to Larry Jr. This is what happens when you don't play for 10 days. Your, uh, your skills are a little bit rusty. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I will not die to Larry Jr. I refuse. I refuse to die to Larry Jr. No. No. I will admit I tend to do uh, game capture with uh, recordings because it works best on my laptop. This game didn't, is one of the ones that did not work with game capture so there is a possibility that some of the frame drops you're seeing are actually related to the way I have to capture the game, not so much due to even having trouble running it while recording, just from the way that I have to capture it. Um, regardless, what was I getting at here? 
Um, yeah, if you guys are really interested in having me start a fresh file and start unlocking everything from scratch, I would consider doing that. Um, I just know that it would take a very long time to make progress that way uh, with my video production rate. Um, you know, at a video a day, I still don't have everything unlocked at about 100 hours. Granted, I probably could have done better. It took me a very long time to unlock the super secret character. Um, took me an extra long time to get the first step of the process done. So, I mean, some things could probably be sped up from where they're at, but with how long it took me to get to the point I am now, with not everything unlocked, I think that to try to do so in a series of, you know, one run a day for however long it takes would take a very long time. Um, again, if it's something you guys want to see, I will at least, at the very least, consider it. Um, but at the moment, it's not something I think is the best option. I think it's better to just have my save that I have been using and kind of let progression happen more quickly instead of having it take forever to reach levels that most people who have played this game on stream or videos are already well past due to obviously having started their series much earlier. Monster is not a problem. Taking hits against Monster would be unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. I didn't even realize I had Curse of the Blind. Okay, we got a Joker card. That makes up for it a little bit. And 48 hour energy. Okay. Oh, do we take this gamble? Two red hearts for an unknown devil item. Spirit of the Night. Okay, I am, I am perfectly okay with two red hearts for Spirit of the Night. I will not complain about that for a second. Because of the box we can get in here. Uh, we have to play this game again. The Book of Sin gives me a spirit heart. Okay. Oh, D6 hasn't been used yet. That's right. Smart Fly. Uh, not an item that I would have particularly wanted, but, you know, without the ability to... I mean, it's not a bad item, don't get me wrong, but with a 48-hour energy having been used and having, you know, two extra rerolls sitting there waiting, if I had known it was going to be 48-hour energy... I am smart fly, I would have re-rolled it again, but that's obviously the difficulty of Curse of the Blind, is you don't know if what you're about to pick up is going to be good or bad for you, and in that case it just happened to be not so great, after the wonderful, wonderful results of the deal with the devil that we had. I feel like I'm slowly starting to uh, remember some of the new enemies, some of the patterns, um, getting back into the flow of the controls, which is going to help a lot. If we can get a key, I will probably go to the shop because I can definitely buy something. I can always bomb the donation machine if need be. But we would need a key for that, which it appears we are not going to get. Um, I will look for the secret room. There can be a key in there now, and if it's up here, we can also bomb into the shop. Huzzah, we can do that. And we got the money we need without having to bomb the donation machine. My shop is not fully upgraded yet, by the way. Spiders, peace out. 15 cents for unknown shop item. More options, that's actually one of my preferred shop items in Rebirth. Um, if you haven't seen it yet already, you'll find out what that does pretty quickly. Um. If you have, obviously you know why it's a good item. Sorry, one moment. I didn't realize I left Skype open when I started the recording. And I wasn't sure if that was what had to do with my framiness. Um, so I tried to exit it. But I forgot I had to verify and confirm the exiting. And so it was actually still open. And if it was causing a problem, it was still causing a problem. These guys are easy, we have flying, we can hide out over this water here, and just take them out from a distance. Excellent. I would be very happy if Sloth could drop Bob's Rodden Head for me, 
I get a reroll on it right away. We have plenty of rooms to recharge our D6 most likely for the floor. It would work out well. But that is, of course, assuming that he drops the item and not just a consumable. Revenge Fly is active because I took some stupid damage. And there it is. There's Bob's Rotten Head. Pick it up, put it down, reroll. You know what? Big beautiful fly, welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. This is an item that can be dangerous, you know, if it hits an enemy at the wrong time, well, that can cost you a heart. But, it can also be very useful in its own right, so I am quite happy to take it. That was just purely bad luck of the shot angle on there. Combined with my, uh, not remembering that Ipecac now, Lucky Rock, cool. With not uh, remembering that Ipecac type shots now actually activate when they're above a target, not just when they have a direct landing on it, which does make a very big difference in the way those shots work, as well as a very big difference in the way Ipecac in general works as an item. Uh, let's head in here. Shoop to whoop. No thank you, we will be rerolling you. Unless we find something better for you. Unless we get a devil room that we want to reroll instead. Um, but I don't think we're going to get to the devil room. Oh god, I forgot those guys can jump gaps now. And this is what happens, again, when you don't play for 10 days. Is just that, uh, you know, the little diff especially the little differences in how things work between Vanilla Isaac that I put over a thousand hours into and this version that I'm barely over a hundred. Um, you know, those things in particular can be very difficult to parse when you haven't played the game in quite some time. Let's head up through this door. That's our boss room. So I think, I think that our best bet is to go fight the boss, see if we get a devil room. If we do, we'll, uh you know, make use of that as needed. Oh, that was beautiful. Good job, BBF. I will admit, when I first uh, picked up that item, I actually thought that I had... Okay, well, that's the one I actually wanted of the two, thankfully. But that's what Options does, if you didn't uh, know. Is it actually makes it so that on every boss drop, you get two items dropped. And that allows you to kind of have a little bit more influence over how your run goes. And of course with the D6 on top of that, if you have to, and if you reroll the items, you now have four items that you have gone through and had the option of taking. Um, all around just a very good item to have. Little Gish, I am perfectly okay with that as well. Still one of the better familiars in my opinion. He was in the original Isaac, he is still in this version. I should be moving quicker to try to, uh, because I would like to do the boss rush, but I wanted to get more money so the shop was viable. So we can head down there now and see what we got going on. Not going to worry about the challenge room. We're already at 10 minutes. I don't think the boss rush is going to be much of an option here. Ah, compass helps though. Compass definitely helps. Into this here trap door, and on we go. Yes, we are just barely above pace, I believe. Passage, I will take that. It could give us access to the black market, or other various uh, special rooms. So definitely worth picking up and carrying along with us. If you don't know the secret of that, you may be able to uh, define it by the time I use it. And I will probably end up saying what it is um, when I use it as well. Just because otherwise it'll be hard to understand necessarily why I'm using it the way I will be. But we're going to hang on to it until the proper situation presents itself, which could be 
pretty much literally anywhere from here until the end of the game. This is a kind of crappy room. I hate these rooms with these turrets, but flying helps a lot. And the slowdown is killing me. I really need to find out why game capture is struggling and see if anyone knows of a fix for it. Um, that'll be something I will do immediately after this episode. I should also add, whatever I get done tonight will be put up during the early part of the week. Um, and then if all goes well, I should be using my uh, Thanksgiving, my free time on that day, since I don't work, to get some more videos up that will get us through the end of the week. Greed kind of expected, and I actually kind of enjoy that outcome. I didn't have the money for the shop just yet anyway. And now I do. So now, when we get down to a later floor, we will be able to use that. Uh, this floor has taken me longer than I would have liked. And I also have very low damage still, which is not a good thing in general, but especially if you're trying to get to the boss rush, it is very damning to not get any kind of damage ups. Reroll bump friend, attack fly, sure. I'll take this in admiration. Close up attack fly has always been an item that I enjoy having. It's a little bit of risk reward. That was just really stupid. I actually got hit by my own uh, big beautiful fly. Blood bank tempting. Battery I'll pick up because there is no way we are going to end up with another charge. IV bag, um, reroll. Mom's wig means that we're going to be spawning occasional spiders. Stupid damage. But now my revenge fly is out for blood. And that's not a bad thing. I really love that uh, they have actually successfully made the whole take damage to do more a much more viable thing in a lot of ways. Um, not only from the fact that the health cap limiting the amount of spirit hearts you can have, making it less painful to lose out on health but also more so and even more so because by um because you tend to get more heart drops in terms of spirit hearts than you did in your original ringworm no thank you i don't really like the worm trinkets unless i've got something that stacks well with them you know technology and let's say hookworm is a very good combo whereas oh god Dark one can be kind of a pain, but yeah, you know, technology and hookworm can be a good combo, but the knockback removal on a lot of them, on a lot of those uh, worm trinkets, is not all that uh, good of a thing to have around. Oh, I wanted the halo! No! I was just standing in the wrong spot. Oh, well, we'll take little brimstone. He's a very good item. He's going to help us with that damage output that I mentioned. I really wish I'd picked up the Halo. I was just happening to stand where the item dropped, and that kind of got me in a position where I didn't have much choice. Oh yes, little brimstone. Oh yes. Do my dirty work. And we still continue to look for our use of it was. I need to remember to actively use Low Brimstone. It's the only part about the item that's not pretty much top tier is just the fact that you have to actively remember to use it. And that can be a little bit off-putting when you don't actually have a charge attack that you need to release to fire to begin with. Let's go over here, that's going to take us to our item room. D20, we'll reroll that, Notched Axe, much worse. Granted, not Notched Axe has gotten a big buff in this version, um, or in this game, I guess I should say, since this is an entirely new game, not really a new version of the old one. 
But, um... Yeah, Notch X has actually gotten a big upgrade. But, compared to the D6, not worth taking. It is now an item, though, that there are situations where I would absolutely take it. Um... If you haven't used it, because you already knew what the, uh... Item did. Essentially, the difference now is that the notched axe works for a room instead of a single rock. So you can blow up every rock in a room for the cost of one item, one use of the item. Um, on top of that, you've also now got a lot more stuff that can be uncovered by breaking rocks. It's not just tinted rocks that have useful stuff beneath them anymore. I should go to my shop, I guess. I don't think that the um, boss rush is going to be in our in the cards for us on this one. Yeah, I'll take both of these. PhD, better pills guaranteed, and blue map going to show us where all the secret rooms are. Really, paralysis you don't consider a bad pill. Really. There is no practical use for paralysis. There is no benefit to having that. I'm gonna be fighting, fighting the bloat. I am one of the few people out there who does not mind fl fighting the bloat all that much. I did just take a bunch of damage to the eyes, but that was from me being stupid, not because of the bloat himself. Uh, synth oil, yes. Damage and range up. We needed that damage up. Uh, Judas Shadow, no. But I will take Guffy's head. Put it back down. Reroll. Uh, that's gonna give me three black hearts. Brother Bobby. And we'll take Guffy's hairball because that gives us two thirds of Guppy mode. And down to the next floor. So in order to get to our goal here, we would need to beat this floor within three minutes. I don't think it's going to happen. Our damage just is not there for that kind of thing. To get through the floor that quickly, that is. Are you a wizard? Also, a pill that I would consider pretty universally bad. Like, these aren't even like the original Isaac pills that you can still get with PhD where they were, you know, not necessarily negatives, but not positive, not necessarily positives either. These are just straight up negative pills that are still appearing with PhD, which is not something I'm a big fan of. What is in our arcade? A couple of, I know, blood bank, a slot machine. Oh God, I forgot I only had one red heart. No, that was stupid. Anyway, off we go. We're going to have to go back up here and to the right. And I would say that by this point, our chances of getting that boss rush are zero. There may still be a slim chance of it, but I highly doubt it at already 18 minutes. And not even within, you know, the boss room being close on the map. Our boss trap room has a single golden chest. I could open that up, see what's in it, but I think we're better off just moving on. Eternal Heart, sure. Fanny Pack, that's a useful item. Oh, where did I leave it? It was. Oh. Must be over here. Yes. Yeah, not gonna happen. But doesn't mean we can't make a good run of things. Half a red heart. I, I could use that to go to the blood bank and then use the money from the blood bank to play him more. But instead we're gonna wait to do that until after we've seen what the shop has in store for us. E. coli. Not a very useful item. Not a bad item, but 
It's not one that I really particularly like having. Oh my god, the framiness is very annoying. Maggie's will HP up and you feel healthy. What does that mean? That's the first time I've gotten that item, by the way. Oh, I love you, Lucky Rock. Uh, broken watch. I wonder... I've still yet to figure out the exact working of this. I mean, I know it has influence on the... boss rush, but I don't know what that influence is. Like, I don't know if it's going to stop the timer where I'm at. Oh yeah, I just spent all my money. Oh, I do have a lot of bombs. I could just range up, sure. Balls of steel, sure. I was afraid of that, but we got an HP up out of it right away anyway. Um, you know what? If we're going to get a boss challenge room, it's going to be because of the um, item that we got. So why not go back and try to get something out of this beggar before we worry about that? <laughs> of course it's pay out with mom's bottle of pills, but it's a health up. So you know what? I'm not gonna complain about that. Um Shouldn't have used my reroll on that. I forget, did I already buy a battery from the shop? Is that what I did? No, although I think that pill is a good one. A couple of pennies not worth the bombs, to be honest with you. I still haven't found a spot to use this, uh... Rune here. I don't actually know if it works on the womb. That's a little bit disappointing. Well, I should rephrase that. I know that the rune itself works on the womb. What I don't know is if it affects, uh, and if it can have the same effect that it does on earlier floors if you use it in the right spot. And no challenge room. See what the devil has to offer. Book of Belial for one heart, not something I'm interested in, unfortunately. Um, let's plan on going to the chest, why don't we? I like the Isaac and Blue Baby fights a lot more now, so I have less hesitation about going to the chest than I did in the original Isaac. I mean, really the main reason I went to the cathedral and chest in the original was because they were, um... Ah, oh, this is Excel.
was because they were, um, you know, they were the end game floors, the, you know, floors meant to be done last. But, in this case, you know, both the cathedral and the anshiel are made to be done last. And they both have good end games behind them. There's no more, you know, shoal cuts off after one more floor, cathedral cuts off after two. That's not an issue anymore, and with that, I do kind of like, I and mean, shoal becomes more of an option. But I kind of enjoy going to the cathedral more now as well. Although if you haven't seen him, the uh, the secret boss is very, very awesome. He is something that I will pretty much go for anytime I am given the opportunity. Unfortunately, the opportunity to fight him is quite rare. I really hate the slowdown I'm getting right now. It is making it rather difficult to play, actually. There's got to be a better way to record this. Little Brim is doing some good work for us. And almost. Um, they're both HP up. That one, I think, might have some alternate benefits attached to it. I'm not sure on that, but it might. Now for a revamp Mom's Heart fight. Or it lives fight, I guess, in this case. A very, very... A very improved fight, I should say. One that is far more enjoyable than it once had been. I have taken an absurd amount of damage, though. Whew. So, up to the cathedral we go. Still got this uh, crappy slowdown building up. It has gotten worse and worse as we've gone on. we got a mini-boss here. Ah, ha, 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 you got hit by the slowdown. That slowdown is coming from the, um... It's coming from the, uh... Well, the slowdown in enemies, I should say, is coming from the... Uh, Broken Watch. Sure, I guess. Actual boss is down there. Obviously gonna have to start out by going this way. I'm a little bit disappointed that we haven't found anything better than the Lucky Rock. Because really, once you've got enough money, the Lucky Rock kind of loses its benefit. Um, it can still help, don't get me wrong, but I mean most of what you're going to get from the Lucky Rock is going to be, what am I looking for here, is going to be coins, and when you don't have any shops left, more coins is not exactly a huge benefit. Oh, I'm still, like, half asleep from being on a plane for so long. I have many times beaten this Isaac fight without taking hits, with around this level of damage. Obviously, this is not one of those times, but I'm out of practice and sleepy.
here, please. Up here again. Yep, up here. Oh! Slow down actually made it rather hard to get out of the way of that. Please? Yes! Whew, Isaac has been defeated. To the chest we go. And let's see. Pyro, Dead Sea Scrolls, Magnet, Tech 2. Tech 2 I would be tempted on, but it's going to lower our damage and our damage isn't great right now. Nothing all that interesting going on with those ones. Pick up and drop this guy. I mean, there are good things going on there, but... Crystal Ball... Well, I mean, I guess I should use this. It'll reveal the exact path to the boss. It'll give us that Sphere Heart. Um, we're gonna pick up the Odd Mushroom, as well as Fire Mine. And we might as well pick this one up. Um, we got a very long trek to the boss. I'll leave holy water for now. This is a, you know, somewhat tough room. But the fact that these guys are all slowed is helpful. And we're actually doing pretty decent damage against them. So you know what? I lied. This isn't that tough of a room. I haven't even been using little brimstone. You know you're doing okay on damage when you've got a little brimstone and you aren't actively having any trouble when you're not using him. Oh god, double adversary? Oh, F this room. F this room. If I could just like get rid of one of you. If I could just get rid of one of you. Bliss, one of you, die. Thank you. Although our health is very low now. That could have gone much better. I would say that's probably one of my least favorite rooms to run into at this point in the game. There are harder ones, but honestly they mostly are made up of later game stages. Um, well, I mean, I guess this is the latest game stage, so I don't know what I'm talking about. But what I mean by that is, uh, actually, what I meant to say by it, I should say, is that it's kind of a thing that you more expect in the dark room than in the chest. They aren't exactly an enemy that spawns very often in here compared to in the chest, I and mean, in the dark room. Triple peep. Okay. I see your point, game. I could use more peep in my life. Stupid damage to take. Stupid damage to take again. There are so many eyes right now. Okay, this is now an easy room for the remainder. I might still take some damage, but... Single peep in a large room, not really a big issue. Oh, we should, I guess, go down to this second secret room, see if it's a heart room by chance. An eternal heart? I mean, it's something, I guess. I have gotten very, very tough draws on this, uh, on this chest. Hmm. 
Can't believe I took that hit against Dingle, one of the easiest bosses in the game. Could go back and reroll Holy Water. And I might do so if there is no item drop from this room. War and Famine, not a big deal. In fact, if I had to choose a room to play, I had to get on the chest, it would probably be this one. Especially with them both slowed by the uh, broken watch. Okay, so you go reroll holy water. Um, not that it's a, uh, not that it's likely to benefit us all that much, but we've also got a little bit of health here, and it might help. It's a terrible item um, in terms of practical usage, but it's that or nothing, and it might bring us out of a tough spot. So I guess it makes some level of sense to take. Let's see, Isaac versus Blue Baby. Get in there, Revenge Fly. You're my only hope. God, it's been so long since I have fought against this version of Blue Baby. Fanny Pack did some good work for us there as well, by the way. We might get this win. We might get it. Oh, it's gonna be close. Just. Oh, God. Yes! Yes, we won! We won! <sighs> it's one thing that's been really nice about Rebirth is that on those runs where you aren't super powerful, there is a certain degree of hype that comes from achieving victory from what feels like the Jaws of Defeat that, uh, you know, Isaac kind of lost me after a thousand hours, let's be honest here. After that much time, the thrill of tough runs was not there as much. Um, regardless, thank you guys for tuning in to the first episode of what will likely be a pretty long-going series. Hope you enjoyed. Um, we'll be back tomorrow with more. For now, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Take care, everyone, and have a good one. Later.